What's going on everyone? This is Jacob from RoboFlow here today with another RoboFlow research rundown. So today we're going to be talking about scaled YOLO v4 and how it topped the efficient debt model to take the place for the state-of-the-art object detection model in the current research. So today we're kind of going to dive into the research and talk about how scaled YOLO v4 was able to top efficient debt and then we're going to also dive in and uh, look a little bit at the code base and see how you might actually implement scaled YOLO v4 on your own uh, object detection task. So this, this network was really a unique contribution to the object detection uh, uh, landscape because the authors were predominantly working in the open source community. And they were at that, even, even despite that, they were able to beat the Google Brain research team that had previously come out with efficient debt. So in object detection, basically what we're looking at is we're looking for models that are very efficient. That means that they are able to invert very fastly and real, very fast in real time. And then they also get a very high accuracy. The nice thing about this also means that they're quick to train and anyone can be using them on just a few GPUs that they have um, or a single GPU. Um, so here is the evaluation chart. You can see here previously you had efficient debt as the top model in the blue line, uh, ranging all the way up here to efficient debt D7, which is truly a huge model. And um, scaled YOLO V4 was able to top it um, with this green line here um, on both ends. So they both have a very fast network and they have a very performant network and are able to top the curve all the way um, in between. Um, so a little bit of background on the research here. Um, so we talked a little bit about object detection. It's, it's basically just kind of finding a box and identifying a class label in an image. Um, and many of you are probably familiar with YOLO v4, um, which is an object detection model. Um, and this is a new iteration of that model. So um, another thing that's relevant here is the COCO data set. So the COCO data set is a huge data set put out by Microsoft, um, and it contains over 120,000 images um, with 80 object classes uh, annotated in them of just common objects like people and uh, dogs and cats and things. And um, these uh, new state-of-the-art object detection models are evaluated on COCO. So if you can do COCO, it's assumed that they will be able to easily then generalize to custom object detection tasks or any detection tasks that you might want to implement on your own uh, with your own data. Um, and now a little background on efficient debt. Efficient debt came out by uh, Google Brain Research, and it was essentially a study of how to efficiently scale uh, object detection networks. So there's different pieces of the network, and you can be uh, scaling different dimensions, like uh, how wide the network is, how deep it is, or what your input uh, resolution is. And you can kind of like be scaling these things in different ratios. So efficient debt did a very good job of kind of studying that scaling process and being able to go all the way up to their very large efficient debt D7 model. Uh, now a little background on YOLO models. So YOLO was uh, first started by uh, GitHub Namaker PJ Reedy. Um, he came up with the first YOLO model in Darknet, um, which Darknet is a C-based uh, neural network framework. Um, and then this has recently been picked up by other researchers, namely Alexi AB, who authored YOLO v4. Um, and then now Wan Kin Yu, who is a researcher in Taiwan, who has come up with his version of scaled YOLO v4. Uh, another thing that's relevant in the histories here is uh, the YOLO v5 framework written in PyTorch by Glenn Jocker. Um, the YOLO v5 uh, came out and it was sort of unclear whether it was better than YOLO v4. Um, but anyways, it took the YOLO model, took it out of Darknet, put it into PyTorch and made it sort of uh, more efficient. Because in the, in the Darknet framework, you know, you have to calculate everything like uh, backpropagation gradients and everything, type, whereas PyTorch uh, handles a lot of these modeling things for you. So it makes it a little bit easier. Um, so now we're going to kind of dive in uh, into the YOLO scale, the YOLO v4 technique. So how did how did they how were they able to take YOLO v4 and make it even bigger and and make it uh, in such a way that it could it, it could top efficient debt? So the first thing um, I guess before we dive into the research, we should take a little bit of a look at an object detection network. So you have a backbone, which is a convolutional neural network, which is pooling features and creating features for the network to consume, which then those are uh, then mixed in the neck of the network. So usually that's like the FPN uh, feature pyramid network where these different uh, features in the convolutional network are getting mixed. And then they're output to the head. So in yellow, you have 
Um, you have an object loss where it's kind of trying to de determine if there's an object here, and then you have a classification loss, and there are separate parts of the head that are uh, predicting different things in the yellow network. So that's a little bit of the architecture. Um, and now the, the big concept here is what Wonka Yu came up with was this concept of the cross-stage partial network, which is a CNN that is designed to efficiently run um, with similar performance relative to other CNNs. And you can read more about that in the paper on cross-stage partial networks, but essentially there's a lot of CSP ising going on in scaled yellow before where one can use applying the CSP technique to different aspects of the network and essentially speeding them all up. So he's able to use a bigger model that is uh, basically, you know, have been, has been scaled down with the CSP, but it's still the same size as the other ones to effectively push that curve backwards and then make it so they can scale up um, uh, scale up the model um, efficiently. So another thing in the paper is that uh, YOLO v4 Tiny is released. And so this was primarily research done in Darknet um, and probably mostly by Alexi AB. And I'm sure Juan can you helped out with it, but Tiny makes a really fast network. So um, you can do um, inference at like over uh, a thousand FPS on the right devices. And uh, YOLO v4 Tiny model, um, they were considering some different constraints like uh, bandwidth and memory access. And uh, so this is, uh, you know, um, a really, uh, you know, really fast model and, and definitely worth a read. I'm looking more into that as well. Um, to scale the YOLO v4 CSP model. So first they took YOLO v4, CSPIs, all the different components of it. Um, and then in order to scale it, um, they're adjusting different uh, parameters like the width and the depth and the image put re resolution size. They found that um, for higher resolution size, uh, width doesn't matter so much, but you actually need um, like more depth or more number of stages in the network. So they were able to kind of uh, they were able to kind of uh, reduce the number of areas that they were scaling things in. Another thing is uh, there's data augmentations as usual. Um, a lot of these are coming from the Yolo v5. A mosaic data loader. Um, and these data augmentations are coming through increasing uh, the variation of the training set by making a few tweaks to it. Um, and they actually scaled that up for the last uh, part of training. So they were kind of training more on the base training set and then they augged up for the last uh, part of training. And then also they do run test time augmentations. Uh, so this is for the non real time results, but if you want to get the highest performance possible, you can augment the test image in a bunch of different ways and then average the prediction across them. Um, and that uh, ends up improving performance a little bit more. So now kind of diving into the raw numbers of the results um, here. So we have the chart as we had before, kind of showing this uh, line going faster and more performant than previous networks. Um, but more importantly, they're holding uh, each different version of the Yola v4 scaled up against efficient debt. So Yolo v4 P5 um, has the same accuracy, but it infers at twice the speed. Um, and, you know, similarly for all the stages up through efficient debt. So they're showing that they can infer at the same accuracy with much more speed. And the other important thing here to know is that uh, not only are these models inferring faster, but they're smaller and they're written in PyTorch. So you can train these on your own GPUs. You don't have to be trying to train efficient debt on like 10 million TPUs. You can use your own GPUs to train these things. Um, the YOLO v4 Tiny results are also um, incredibly, uh, you know, incredibly awesome. So these are uh, basically on a GPU RTX 2080, you can uh, get 174 FPS. If you're in, uh, take the network, you put in TensorRT and you do a bunch of other stuff to kind of make it run very fast. Um, so that is, you know, truly state of the art and is a new uh, is, is really good for deploying to edge devices where you might not have as much uh, compute to be running your networks. So now, uh, kind of looking in how you might train scale the v 4 So we're going to look at the repo here, um, and uh, you can find it at one can you scale the v 4 right here. I'll go ahead and link that below too. Um, and then you want to go into tree Yolo v4 large. So that's where the scale the v 4 models are. Um, the README here has some details on uh, statistics and how you can replicate results if you want to check uh, the research work. Um, and then also there's training, so you can uh, work on training on your own data set. 
So one thing you'll notice is that the structure here is very similar to the Yolo V5 PyTorch. So it's the same um, scripts with edits from Monk and you as he was working through the research. Um, so uh, there isn't a custom training tutorial out on this yet. Um, stay tuned, that will be coming uh, shortly here um, from RoboFlow and I'm sure from elsewhere. But in the meantime, uh, training is good to look at the Yolo V5 repo um, and kind of get familiar with how to train this on custom data. And I'll also uh, leave a link on how to train Yolo V5 on custom data, which is the same concept of training scaled Yolo V4 on custom data because it's in the same PyTorch framework uh, with the tr same train scripts and such. Um, so that's all we have today on scaled Yolo V4. Um, Thanks so much for listening to this video. Feel free to like and subscribe below. And uh, we'll see you again soon on the next episode of the Rebel Flow YouTube.